Alright guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is going to be a fresh unboxing of the all new Kyosho Dodge 2015 SRT Challenger. There's This is their newest 110th scale 4 wheel drive electric touring car based on their Phaser VE platform. Now this thing is just damn cool. I have been kind of following uh, Gas Monkey Garage on I believe the History Channel, one of those channels out there, and they recently did um, several different versions of the new Dodge vehicles and if you guys have followed the RC Network you definitely know I'm a Ford guy but these Dodge vehicles actually look pretty cool and they have several different versions available right now. They have an old um, Charger I believe it is and like a 70s-ish Charger and then also of course the um, SRT Challenger here. They have it available kind of in this lime green color but I picked up the all stealth black version which is pretty cool so um, this is going to be an unboxing I'm going to show you what you get inside the box and stay tuned for my running video and my full review of this vehicle so um, with that this thing is pretty cool it's all ready to run you get everything inside the box to get you started on day one and I can't wait to unbox this thing I actually picked it up yesterday and I was really kind of hesitant. I wanted to open it up, but I wanted to wait for you guys. So um, right here you're seeing the officially licensed uh, Challenger body from Dodge. I mean, it just looks cool. It, it's considered a Hellcat, and uh, I mean, just <laughs> pretty cool design. So it does have their new uh, Synchro remote, which um, I'll show you guys here in a little bit what that thing looks like. Uh, really cool design. I really like the um, the changes they did on it um, from the uh, previous Synchro. Um, one thing that I'm really, really um, amped about this vehicle is the new D-Drive system from Team Orion. Now that is the new motor ESC combo all in one unit, which I can't wait to kind of get my hands on and, and kind of check it out to see what it really is. Now, of course, you have all the other different specs here. A, a pretty decent servo. Um, they're considering it a high torque, high response servo. You do get their receiver that is linked up to their synchro system. Bearings throughout, you get, um, of course, their great shocks. You get a set of not only grip tires, but you get a set of drift tires in the box. No one does that anymore, but Kyosho does. You do get an official Orion battery pack. It is nickel metal hydride, but it'll get you started on day one. And of course, a charger for that pack. So let's get cracking this thing open. I've been waiting to open this thing up just to see what you get. So I really dig the um, kind of side profile view right here, if you guys can see that. Um, just, that thing just looks badass. Look at that thing. Now I do know that um, Kyosho is going to be offering um, these bodies available both in clear and I believe painted versions as well and these are ultra scale bodies these things have all of the licensing um, the Dodge Charger that they have out the old school one actually has all the chrome bumpers and the chrome pieces and bits and the grill on it the gas cap I mean these things are just super cool so let's crack this thing open got my official Spyderco the one I had handy right here and uh, let's the seals on this thing um, right there you're looking at that black version that I picked up look at that thing it's upside down but you can see what I mean all right here's the first look ah black and it's stealth all right I'm gonna get this thing out of the box I'll be right back and I'm back now and all I've got to say is wow this thing just looks awesome and I'm already contemplating not even driving this thing. This thing just looks so cool in studio here. But let's get back to this unboxing here. Um, really quick, here's some of the supplement items you get from Kyosho. Um, you know, Kyosho doesn't, they don't neglect their consumers. And right here we get a full owner's manual. We get a uh, T-wrench and also a 1.5 millimeter. We have some shock spacers right there to uh, preload the shocks a little bit more. Uh, Kyosho's official um, count or catalog here, 2015. Maybe it's their um, their late edition of the 2015 catalog. But nice that they're including that right in the box. Um, right here, you do get a official white boxed wall charger. This does have all the different countries uh, plugs in it, so pretty much one box will ship to any country. So nice that they're including that. The included battery came separately packaged. 
It is the Rocket Pack 2 from Team Orion, uh, 1800 milliamp nickel metal hydride 7.2 volt battery. It does come in with a Dean's style connector, and that is what's on the vehicle as well. So nice that they're including this. Um, I plan to run this thing on 2S LiPo out of the gate though. Other things that you get inside the box, you get a full set of drift spec tires uh, and wheels. So these are a full other set of wheels and tires so you can get your drift on. Uh, these things are actually quite nice. I had these on a Mitsubishi Lancer Phaser a while back. I'm going to link that up in the upper right hand corner of this video screen so you can check out that one as well. But um, really nice uh, uh, drift tires that they include right in the package. No one does this anymore, so very nice. This is like a, you know, probably like a 20 buck value that they're just throwing in the box for you, so whole, whole set of those things. Now, the new Synchro Radio, pretty cool. I really like this radio. It's really kind of uh, uh, jumped up on my radar as far as one of my favorite RTR radios now. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. It has um, all of the different trims and what you'd want on a RTR radio, so you have throttle trim, um, steering trim, steering dual rate, throttle EPA, reversing, you have a throttle reverse and steering reverse, so um, pretty nice out of the gate on all of the adjustments. Uh, what I really like about this thing is the wheel, and the wheel is actually um, kind of angled inward, and it, it really makes to a nice ergonomic uh, shape on the actual uh, remote here. Nice rubber grip on the back, just really good quality um, throughout. And of course, only four double A's to operate this thing that you do have to supply your own. So uh, just go grab that TV remote and get your RC on. Um, anyways, that is the remote there. Pretty decent for an RTR remote. And there it is, star of the show right there, the SRT Challenger. This is the 2015 model, and it just looks badass. I mean, there's nothing about this that sucks, and it starts with that scale body. I mean, we are seeing a beautiful black paint job on this thing. Um, whoever laid the decals at Kyosho, thumbs up. Best decal job I've ever seen on an RTR vehicle. We have tinted window film on throughout on every single window. There's tinted window film. Even the um, uh, sunroof has like a, a kind of a sticker on it to make it look like a real sunroof. Um, we have all of the different uh, uh, vents and whatnot perfectly placed. Even the Hellcat sticker right here on the front uh, fender awesome job. Now, for all of the extras you get on this body, now these are all bolt-on extras. You do get um, side mirrors. I'm trying to get this thing unstuck here. Um, you get right and left side mirrors. These are actual mirrors that are bolted on. You get a little shark fin kind of radio antenna back here. Also, an added item. The rear spoiler is bolted on. That thing is beautiful. I mean, it just is totally made for this thing. You do get a little fuel door here. That is an extra item as well. Um, onto the front grill. I mean, look at that front grill on this thing. That thing is bolted on. That is um, just plastic that is bolted into the Lexan. You can kind of see the little snorkel hood right there with um, all the different decals. Um, the front uh, valence up here, or the front uh, spoiler, has like a matte black sticker on it just to make it uh, that perfect kind of matte black look to it. On here to the rear, we're going to see all of the rear lights, um, the SRT logo there, the Dodge logo, even to the um, stickers or decals for the exhaust. I mean, everything on this just screams scale. Now, I was looking at the inside of this thing to see if it had light buckets. I'm not sure, and it, it looks to be, I'm trying to get this on film here, but you can kind of see that there's an extra piece in there and it bolts up to that plastic piece that was the rear lights and the front lights. And hopefully you guys can see that there, but it looks like you can put lights in this thing and have official light buckets. So that, that does look cool. 
I'm gonna have to check on that a little bit later, but you can see all the boltings in there for the mirrors and even the little shark fin. It's all bolted on. I mean, just a super scale body. Well, enough of the body. Let's get to that chassis. Now, one thing that I find out from Kyosho is that this is actually a lengthened chassis. Now, they do have an option part to make this the one inch um, longer chassis. This isn't a traditional one tenth scale touring car. It is one inch longer from wheelbase to wheelbase. So keep that in mind if you plan to take maybe a existing touring car that you have and place one of those bodies on it. These are true scale bodies. Um, they really did their homework on these things to get that true scale effect. Now with most uh, 190 and 200 millimeter bodies, these are all 200 millimeter bodies here. And that, that is talking about the width from wheel to wheel. What I'm talking about is from wheelbase to wheelbase. This is an, a one inch length and chassis for both this Challenger and also the Charger. So keep that in mind. Now what's really cool about this is, is the proven phaser platform. I love this platform. This platform does well. It doesn't have lots and lots of metal that you would find in, in some of the higher end stuff, but the plastics on this are just absolutely flawless and it just does a really good job of touring and drifting, so I found that out as well. Now you're taking a look here of that new D-Drive system from Team Orion. That thing is super cool and I can't wait to really Where the ESC is housed. So pretty much you have the traditional uh, battery wires coming straight out of the motor. You have the receiver lead and the on-off switch just comes straight out of the motor. Pretty cool design. I got to give it to Team Orion. You have your receiver that's housed inside of this kind of waterproof shell, this rubber boot right here, uh, rubber um, boot on the on-off switch, and you do have a waterproof servo that's kind of hiding in here backwards, and I'll read you a model number really quick that I can see, is KS4081-04W, so that is a waterproof servo. Other things that I'm noticing, you get that classic red velvet uh, aluminum caps on these, um, these touring shocks, seem to be very well sprung, huge, thick, uh, Plastic dog bones are riding inside there. Um, you have non-adjustable links throughout, but this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Um, on the underside here, your traditional plastic tub chassis. And if you did want to change um, this chassis out to the shorter version, it's literally this one piece that you replace, and then there's an extra coupler on here that makes the drive shaft that extra one inch. So you just remove that, replace the chassis, and then you're back to a stock um, touring car spec. So a uh, pretty nice design. Just a nice little flip up here for the battery. Battery just mounts straight in there. You have an extra spacer in here. So if you want to run a two cell LiPo or three cell or even maybe a 8.4 nickel metal hydride, you are set to go. Huge uh, bulkheads here for the differentials that are hidden inside there. Super nice design, really proven chassis, and they've done a great job of engineering on the Phaser lineup. Well, guys, that is my unboxing. Very long video, but I didn't want to leave any of the details out, and I'm just shocked at how well these things look. So, well, guys, if you have any comments or questions, please post them on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.